EE World, I'm Martin Rowe. At the 2022 International Microwave Symposium, I had a chance to stop by the Analog Devices booth. There, I got a demonstration of the ADF4377 Microwave Wideband Synthesizer with Integrated VCO. Nikhil Ahuja is going to give us a demonstration of how this device works. So Nikhil, please go ahead. Here, what, what we're using the 4377 for is to be able to interleave two of our 10 giga sample per second data converters, the 809213, and the 4377 is instrumental in enabling uh, us to actually do that. And the way we do that is that we have two 4377s, one each for, uh, for the two 9213s, and um, we, we use uh, the two 4377s can be synchronized with each other, and then we use one of the sample clocks uh, that can be, uh, we, we put it 180 degrees out of phase with the other, which means uh, one sample comes from one of our 10 giga sample per second converters and then the other one comes from the other. So it's essentially a system level ping pong interleaving system supported by the 4377. Okay, and that gives you, that lets you use the two, the two converters uh, to effectively double the sample rate. Yes. And so this is the kind of the clocking architecture that the 4377 enables. And with that, we have a single reference that's coming into both of them uh, that makes sure that the two 4377s are synchronized. And then w one of the clocks is inverted. And part of this is the timing calibration that would, that's required for interleaving. And the 4377 has the ability to move the clock edge forward or back uh, with a granularity of a picosecond for a 128 stages and so that and an even more uh, granularity to do finer uh, tuning and that's what enables uh, us to, to timing calibrate this entire uh, system and what what that lets us do is uh, like, like we were saying use two 10 giga sample per second data converters to get an effective 20 giga sample per second data converter okay so it, it move it can move those clock signals forward or back to get the two of the two converters in sync yes so uh, because we are we are banking on one of the sample clocks being exactly 180 degrees out of phase with the other clock uh, we need to make sure that the the two clock chips always remain in sync and being able to move the edge is what enables us to do that